And that toxic effect has parents concerned about the platforms their kids are on. Tonight, ABC Action News reporter Rochelle Aline spoke with mental health experts about what parents can do to protect their kids online. It's a sound that triggered a collective dopamine hit after Facebook went dark for hours Monday. But I'm here today because I believe Facebook's products harm children, stoke division, and weaken our democracy. But Tuesday, we learned that the darkest side of social media comes when it's up and running. Kids are saying, I am unhappy when I use Instagram and I can't stop. That if I leave, I'm afraid I'll be ostracized. Though it's news that doesn't come as a shock to mental health experts like USF professor Ryan Wagoner, especially when it comes to kids. Not a surprise at all. Clinical psychologist Dr. Lisa Stroman says for many kids, the situation has become dire. This is a real issue that has to do with self-harm. We talk, we're talking about eating disorders. We're talking about situations where kids aren't going to get their childhoods back. So what do we do? Well, the doctors we spoke to say that Monday's break online just isn't enough to protect your kids. They recommend social media time limits, and they also say protecting your kids starts with a conversation. They should feel comfortable talking to their parents about that. Um, you know, one of the problems that we've seen with social media is that it has become an echo chamber chamber for completely and utterly false ideas. Here are some ideas parents can use to get those conversations started. How do we teach them how to use social as a tool and how to identify being good citizens online? How do we help others if we see that they're in trouble? In Tampa, Rochelle Aline, ABC Action News. Both Dr. Stroman and Professor Wagner also recommended some resources for parents who may still have some questions about the impact that social platforms have on children and what tools parents can use and help. Just head to abcactionnews.com for more details.